All right, let's, let's talk about the third tip. I think the third tip is quite important and uh, it can change your design. <laughs> uh, all right, so this, this tip is something to do with the um, uh, depth of field. I use depth of field a lot. I'm a big fan of, uh, of photography, but I don't have an actual camera to do this, so I just do it uh, in CGI. I'm a, I'm a CGI photographer. <laughs> okay, so uh, so you can see the therefore depth field is quite blurry. If I if we look into Wikipedia, the bottom there's some bottom you can see the edge is highlighted, which can create much more realism and. Uh, and uh, get get much more detail, get much more details. So how we how should we achieve these effects in Cinema 4D with Octane Render? All right, so just uh, crank up this setting, uh, a pen to age two three, and uh, you have it. You will get the uh, highlighted age. Uh, of each your bottom, you can see here. We need we need to wait for seconds. My computer is not <laughs> it's not quite good. <laughs> the render speed is uh. all right. So you can see the difference, right? You, you can see there is some um, highlighted area around the edge. It's much more detailed than the original blurry and original default depth field all right so uh, in, in, in film the the button is like a ellipse but here it's like a circle so how can we do that all right so you can just uh, change the ratio of the button by crank up this, this setting if I change this setting to 3, you can see the button is like stretched up and uh, it's more like a ellipse than a circle. But uh, if you want to use this effect, you, you, you should pay attention to your uh, project. Some project is not uh, good with, with the effect and some project is very good with the effect. Maybe maybe a little bit stronger. I can change it maybe to two. My computer is a little bit slow, so maybe we just need to wait for a second. All right. So you can see we got a ellipse looking button and. Uh, highlighted edge bucket together so it's much more uh, so when someone sees a frame you had this kind of effect it can give your stuff more detailed and more realistic looking I use this technique lots a lot of times <laughs> I recommend this tip for you guys